Janice Baylor. I'd like to welcome you back into my studio again today for another fun drop-in art session brought to you by Perry County Council of the Arts and their participating sponsors. Today we are going to make a really cool self-portrait but in a mixed media canvas under the sea. So if you would like to learn how I made this fun project, all of the supplies and the technique are coming right up. For today's project, you will need a piece of cardstock. Um, it can be either blue or white. You'll need a photograph of yourself, preferably face front and sort of large. Or if you do not have a photograph of yourself, you could use a clipping from a magazine and just get a, a large face, perhaps from like a hair or makeup ad. A larger piece of colorful cardstock and a straw with the bendy elbow that would match it. A piece of um, plastic, mine's old packaging, or you could use plastic wrap, glue, scissors, colorful papers. You may want a pencil or a gel pen. And you'll need some selection of blue and white paints and a paintbrush. So to get started, we're going to paint an ocean background since we are going to be snorkeling in this picture. So I'm going to use my brush and just kind of freehand paint some ocean waves. So I am going to try to do it upside down, but I don't know how that's gonna go. So just kind of go across and then to make the wave, just make like some swirls. You know how the ocean kind of swirls and curls and I'm just having fun with it and blending some of the colors together, making some waves under the ocean and around. And I think if you use the blue paper, then you don't have to worry so much about covering all of the background with the paint. Um, or you could just draw in some waves too. And then I'm gonna use the depth, a little blue for darker blue to add a little depth to my ocean down here at the bottom. And I'm gonna blend it into my lighter blue. And that's just giving a lot of interest to my background. I'm just gonna swirl it down here to the bottom of my paper. Come up here to these that I did and kind of do the same thing. Just sort of swirl the colors together and let them mix and create that interest in the background. And just have fun experimenting and turning your brush nice and loose to get that flowy movement of the waves. And then I have a little bit of white that we can also use to add like the white caps to the top of our wave. If you would like to add additional highlighting, you can do that. A little bit of highlights over here. And we're just kind of creating this nice background kind of nice and free with our brush strokes. Just turning the brush, having fun, creating a little bit of a wave texture in our background, okay? And once you're happy with that, you can set it aside and let it dry. I've done an, a one beforehand so that we can move on with our project so that we can finish up our snorkel. So to create the face, your snorkel face, you wanna cut your picture out just around your face. So if you're cutting out of a magazine, you'll wanna cut out just their face. If you're cutting out your picture, just the silhouette of your face and around your head. And then we want to glue it down to the background. 
And I'm going to set mine kind of off to the side and down toward the bottom. And then I'm going to take my piece of paper and I'm going to kind of measure where my eyes fall. And they're about like here to the bottom of the page. And then I'm going to make an oval and then I'm going to cut also the inside of my oval out. So you can sketch that out or you can just freehand draw that. Or you can just cut it and I'm just gonna go up in the center like it would be over my nose maybe. And then to cut out the center, I'm just going to fold it in half and not pinch it, but just lightly fold it so I can get into the center and then cut that little interior oval out as well. And you can see that I have something that resembles a little snorkel mask. And to add like a lens, I'm going to use my recycled plastic and cut a piece off that I can glue to the back of my little mask shape. So I'm going to put glue all the way around the back and then stick my plastic down. And while we let that set up for a minute, we can add a few details to our background. So now that we know where our face is going to be, you can cut out some fish shapes and add some little, a little school of fish maybe to your background. So I have these cut out of some fun swirly paper I made before, but you can use just plain paper. You can cut them out. You could use stickers if you have little fish stickers. Um, you could draw them if you prefer to draw. Anything you would like to just add some little fun things that you might be looking at in the ocean. And you can add additional details if you want with maybe you have a little white pen, a gel pen. You could add some bubbles floating by from your fish swimming. And then once your goggles have dried a little bit and the, paper, the uh, plastic is stuck on, you can just cut away the excess. So I'm just cutting around the outside of my mask shape, the excess plastic. You could skip this step if you wanted to. If you didn't have any plastic, that's fine. Don't... Uh, don't waste stuff just to have it, but if you have some leftover from packaging, like perhaps the sticker, if you had stickers, maybe you have a little sticker packaging. I often have sticker packaging leftover. So you can use that and then put another layer of glue around the shape of your mask and stick those over your eyes to create the snorkel mask. And then, to do the finishing touch, we even have a little snorkel. So I'm going to cut mine a little bit shorter because that's a little ridiculous length. But then you can use your glue, just bend the elbow of your straw, and add glue to one side of it, and stick it down with it coming out of your mouth like you're underwater snorkeling. And then you could add some bubbles coming out of your snorkel too, if you like. You have a really cute ocean inspired mixed media canvas and you can continue to add details and have fun. Stay creative friends. Thanks for joining me. Bye.